So part two, my friend that's visiting wants to have dinner on Friday night because she has this like long-term boyfriend and she said she wanted to go out with us in New York, this and that. And I agree and my other friend that she won agrees. So this girl, poor girl who's visiting ends up booking the dinner reservation when it really should have been one of us. But she makes the reservation for like, I don't know, like eight o'clock or something like that. And literally two days before the dinner, our other the cheap girl friend goes, um, no, can we actually do it earlier at like 7 p.m. or like 6.30 p.m. because I'm running a half marathon that weekend. I wouldn't really think anything of this, but she always does this shit. Like every plan, I feel like she would deliberately like change it because of something she had to do. And this excuse sounded legitimate. So I was like, okay. But I just had a feeling like this was like a bad omen. So we changed the reservation to early. And I'm thinking, what are me and this other girl gonna do from 6.30 p.m. when the bars and stuff won't get good until 11. Like that's kind of inconvenient for us, but fine. The day rolls around and the girl's like, sorry, 6.30 is too early. Can we change it back to nine? Like I'm, I'm caught up with work. Everything has to be around her. She is like, I think cheap people are very selfish. But again, oh my God, fine. So we change it to nine. We finally meet up at this dinner. She always also does this thing. I can't believe to be honest that they've changed that to nine. I would be, I'd be human at that point. I think I'd be really annoyed. Like, I'd be like, what's with the back and forth? And you know, other people have lives too. So changing it once, fine, you can deal. But changing it again a second time, no need, no need. It would give me like massive anxiety about going out, I think. Like, I'd be anxious about, is it even gonna happen? Is she even gonna turn up? Is something gonna go wrong? I just would. Like, I like to have fun set in stone. I think a lot of people do not set in stone but you know what I mean you like to know what's going on and when you've got someone constantly changing the changing the the goal post it's like what's going on like you feel I think it would overstimulate me she whenever we go to dinner she's like I already ate I already ate and then we'll sit down which is also so rude you know we have dinner why would you already eat then she sits down and proceeds to like order stuff on the menu being like giving her input on stuff on the menu and I'm like you said you weren't eating like why are you giving this input which is exactly exactly what she did and then I'm like dude are you eating or not because we're gonna order for two people or we're gonna order for three I'm starving okay and she was like no, no no I'm not eating and then everything that would come out she would like eat like more than half of it and it would be one thing if this happened one time but she all it's like her mo like everyone says that she does this it's crazy that that's your reputation oh and I also asked her at the dinner like oh what time's the half marathon tomorrow it was on Sunday. We were having dinner Friday night. You can't have dinner at 9 p.m. on a Friday night because of a half marathon you're running on Sunday. Anywho, we, we're done eating. She probably ate the most out of any of us. And that's wild. Let me guess. I, I know what this woman's going to say already because I can read. When the time comes where they put the bill on the table, let me guess, this woman did not pay for a single thing. She did not offer to pay a single penny in. When the time comes where they put the bill on the table, some guy comes over that she ran into and she's kind of talking to him on the side. And so me and my friend put our cards down and she wasn't like, she was like looking this way and the waiter comes and takes the bill with just me and her card. And the guy goes away and she goes, she looks back, she sees she didn't put her card down and she's like, oh, like, oh. And I'm like, get your up. The man's right there with the card reader. She's like, well, he already left. I'm like, put it down. She's like, oh, I thought maybe because of my birthday, like you guys were gonna treat me. I already treated you $500 two weeks ago. Okay. Oh, $500 for her birthday? For this girl's birthday? This girl who's notoriously like this? I wouldn't be spending hardly anything on her. I would be getting her a card, maybe a cheeky bottle of Prosecco or something like that. And I'd be like, there you go, happy birthday. Done. We'll go out, I'll buy you a couple drinks. That's nice. Would this woman do this for her? I highly doubt it. What a stingy, sneaky person. Oh, oh my goodness. Crazy. It's one thing the other girl hadn't seen her if they were having one-on-one -on -one dinner. Yeah, maybe the other girl would have treated her, but I'm not fucking paying another fucking dime for your ass again. This had me fuming. Eventually, we forced her to pay the bill. I don't even know how they would have forced her to pay the bill. I feel like you literally have to grab her arm and like with the card in it and be like, <laughs> scuffle. Mind you, my birthday is like a week later. Uh, sorry, a month later. She didn't get me a gift. She didn't even show up to my dinner. She said she had other plans. She's selfish, selfish, selfish. That's so disgusting. I literally said, didn't I? She's spending $500 on this girl for her birthday. I guarantee you she will put zero effort in for this woman's birthday. And that's exactly what she's done. I, I, I don't understand people like that. I would not want to be around them. I wouldn't want to be friends with them. It sounds to me like she just needs to cut this girl off. I'm sure the, this girl sounds like the kind of girl to like guilt trip them and be like, oh, like, oh, 
and you know turn it all around on them but I'd at that point I'd be like do you know what I'm not first like I, w I would want to be able to make plans and not have to worry about someone else constantly changing them the fact that they ordered their food they were hungry and then she proceeded to say oh I've already ate not order anything just so she could scavenge off their plates no don't come, you know what I mean? Say no. Why even bother going to the dinner? Because I'm sure those two girls would have had a way better time with each other's company than having her involved as well. And then the whole like, argument at the end of who's paying. Well, if you've not ordered anything, fine. But if you're going to eat somebody else's food, you need to pay. You know what I mean? That's what would annoy me the most. I think if I was to go out with her, I would just order two dishes and I'd say, you ain't having any of mine. You want some food, you eat this. <laughs> Seriously, it would really annoy me. I don't know how they've kept their chill so well. I don't know how they've managed to deal with that so relaxed because I, I would be able to. I would not be able to. That, it, it was actually infuriating to listen to. Yeah. Cut her off. Cut that off. <laughs>